In today's video, I'll be doing a quick guide for the I-Beam build for Havoc Demon Hunter in the pre-patch of Dragonflight. Before we get to the video though, a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed, so if you're watching this, consider leaving me a sub. It would really help me out, cost you nothing, and I have tons of great content coming through at Dragonflight. Now with that, enjoy the video. So the I-Beam build. So the I-Beam build for Havoc is one of the three builds we could do in pre-patch. We can go down the left triad and do Momentum Essence Break, go down the middle and do I-Beam, go down the right side and do any means necessary glaives. And the middle tree offers some benefits over the other two. One, it offers really good single target, especially compared to um, the glaive build, especially when combined with Venthyr. It's also also really easy to play probably the easiest of the three builds and it's a really fast rotation which a lot of people are appreciative of um when dragonflight itself actually comes out this build loses a lot of value um just left and right gains so much more than this build does however with the recent changes to inner demon this build itself especially right now in shadowlands uh pre-patch or dragonflight pre-patch sorry actually has a lot of benefit over the other two and actually gains some power um with that buff so that out of the way, we'll go into it. I'll give you guys a little rundown of the talents, and we can talk about legendaries and all that jazz, and maybe you guys can pick up this build, try it out in some M+, try it out in Raid. This is our single target build, and just have some fun with it. So we'll get into it here. Um, so these are the kind of the talents. We'll start on the left side on the class tree. Really, these class trees are going to be the same between each different build. Uh, there's maybe one or two points you can wiggle out here and there. So for M+, this is basically what you want. We're grabbing all these left talents here, because really... There's nothing else that's better. CA is really, really good with uh, collective, not collective anguish, with Venthyr. Um, coming down to get the mastery node is also really good because of how good mastery is for us. And really, these options on the left side just give us much more benefit than they do on the right, especially at the moment. Um, we have stuff like Master of the Glaive as well for two Glaive charges. We have extra Fury. We have stuff like Fellblade for more Fury. Rush of Chaos is mandatory, uh, makes Metamorphosis three minutes. Soul Rending is mandatory, it just gives you extra 10% to 20% leech. And then of course Demonic is the reason why this build is at all possible, because it gives us those empowered windows every time we I-beam. Rounding out the talents here, we have Sigil Flame for some more Fury um, every time you end up using it, which, you know, hey, if you need Fury or anything else to push, this is really good. We have uh, Charred War Blades, it heals you for damage you deal. Um, we don't deal a lot of fire damage, however, what we do deal is a lot of chaos damage, and chaos does count as fire. And then we have stuff like the Hunt, and we have stuff like Darkness. Now there is one point you can move around. We have Bouncing Glaive. This can be moved wherever you want in the top two rows here. Um, if you're in kind of a more single target area, if you're an M+, might as well just leave this. Not really anything else you want to be grabbing right now. Anyways, going over to the class tree, you notice I've left one point out, um, and I'll get to that once we're down towards the bottom here, but really you're just grabbing... Uh, Demon Blades here. There's no point to take Demon's Bite. We have so many buttons now that we don't really have GCDs to spend on Demon's Bite. Um, so you want to take Demon's Blades. Additionally, Demon's Blades was buffed so that it uh, happens every time you do an auto. It's not a 60% chance. So you don't hit those times where sometimes you're you're doing your burst and your Demon's Blade just doesn't proc. And then you're just out of luck with no fury. Coming down here, we're always going to grab First Blood. Always going to grab Dance with Fate. Always going to grab Critical Chaos. And then we have Improved Chaos Strike and Demonic Appetite. We're using Chaos Strike and uh, a lot more in this build because of Cycle of Hatred, which we'll be taking. So this gains a lot of value, especially with Demonic Appetite. You gain Fury from those souls. And we're also not taking any of the other Immolation Aura talents, so these two on the right here lose a lot of value. Coming down, we're taking Initiative, we're taking Unbound Chaos, we're taking Tactical Retreat. These are just really, really powerful. Initiative gives you tons of crit chance um, over the course of Dungeon, or when combined with um, Ventral Retreat over the course of a Raid Encounter. We're taking Tactical Retreat to give us that Fury... Um, whenever you use Ventral Retreat, uh, as well as the reduced cooldown on it, so 5 seconds, so it makes it 20 seconds. And then finally, Unbound Chaos, which is very, very powerful. Just using our, our proc to do a big fell rush every uh, few seconds, or every 20 seconds or so, is really strong. We're going down in the middle here to grab some I Beam talents. This is kind of the bread and butter of the build. Uh, Blind Fury is really good, especially with um, Venthyr, as it gives you that brand extension. Stuff like Furious Gaze is really good, it gives you lots of haste. And then of course Looks Can Kill and Chaos Transformation is strong because Looks Can Kill gives you all those guaranteed crit strikes, which is powerful now because I-Beam does so much damage. Lastly, this last point can go in two places. You can put it in Isolated Prey if you want a little bit more single target. Or you can put it in Improved Fell Rush for a little more AoE. Realistically, neither of them are great. You could also put it in Fell Eruption if you want a stun. You can put it in Nether Walk if you want an immunity. Realistically, put it wherever you think is going to be best. Uh, we'll just put it in Fell Eruption for now, why not? Otherwise, that's that. So coming down here, we're going to grab Inner Demon, Two Point Cycle of Hatred, Shattered Destiny, and finally Fart of the Flame, and that will round out our build. 
We take Inner Demon here because it gives us access to Fodder to the Flame, as well as it gives us access to this pretty powerful uh, Chaos Cleave ability. Every time we enter Demonic, uh, or Demon Form, sorry, we're going to get this proc where whenever we Chaos Strike, it's going to Cleave. Now this does count for I-Beams already in Demonic, so if we're in Demonic and we get a DGB proc or we use Meta, then this will count and we'll get another proc of Inner Demon, which is very powerful. Fodder is just a crazy strong one point node, gives us a thing to cleave off of, it gives us a damaging um, ability which explodes and heals us as well, and then it gives us a demon soul which increases the, our damage, uh, which is quite strong. Finally, Cycle of Hate reduces I-Beam, um, really good, it, it works with Blade Dance and Chaos Strike now, so it comes down and ends up working out pretty well, uh, gets down to about a 20, 25 second thing, lower with haste, and then finally Shattered Destiny allows us to just be in demonic form for a while. Um, for every fury we spend, increasing kind of our duration of de demon form and allowing us to use Death Sweep and Blade Dance more. Uh, there is a build you can do, not taking Inner Demon, not taking Fodder, and instead going down this side and picking up Glaive Tempest. The reason you might want to do this is because Glaive Tempest works with Cycle. However, with the buff to Inner Demon, I think this side is probably a little better, but both of them work out pretty well. So with that, we'll go into Legendaries, Covenant, and then Rotation. So for Legendaries, what you want to have is Dark Glare Medallion. There's a few reasons for this, but realistically, this one is just the most powerful for this build. Um, it gives you more procs of Inner Demon whenever I-Beam resets. It gives you more I-Beams, which is itself is just more damage, but also more Demonic Uptime, which is really, really good. It allows you to be in Demonic, kind of giving that extension from Shattered Destiny, enjoying that haste and that extra damage to your abilities. And then finally... More procs of this can also lead to really, really long brands. There's times in dungeons when I'm playing this where I get like five, six procs, and I just get giga brand up time on one target, maybe two minutes. Lastly, if you get good procs of this as well, whenever your trinket is up, your cash trinket, really, really good AoE damage from hitting all those crits on everything. For covenants, you want to play Venthyr. Venthyr's just the best for everything. There's been some talk of like Necrolord, and then if you do that, then you can drop this and go this side, but realistically, I think that's a little bit of a throw. I think Venthyr is the way to go. Venthyr is super, super powerful. For Conduits, you want to just run Nagia. Nagia is going to be your best bet. You can run this. However, it's generally going to be best to swap out Adaptive Armor Fragment with Growing Inferno. And kind of just running a little build like this for M+. For AoE, uh, for Single Target, you could run this. If you want, you could swap an Adaptive Armor Fragment instead of maybe Increased Scrutiny or instead of Growing Inferno. But really, those two are just going to be really powerful. And this is really going to be your best bet. Vicious Ink, Viscous Ink, sorry, and Fell Defender are our best endurance. No point swapping off that. And then Fell Fire Haste is just our only useful um, conduit for finesse. The other ones are just bad. In terms of rotation, this build is going to be very, very easy. This is kind of your bread and butter build for Demon Hunter. It's going to be very familiar if you recognize it. So you're going to throw your brand on your target, pop your trinket if you have it, kind of Fell Rush in. You could use Immolation Aura here and UBC in instead. Then just I Beam, Death Sweep, Meta. I beam again. You want to use your ID procs. I did mess that up there. Every time you I beam, you will get a proc to send your demon into your target. But really, it's that simple. Just use your trinkets, use the hunt, use ventral retreat, and use your buttons as they light up. Remember, between I beam procs to use uh, one annihilation, I forgot at the start here and wasted a proc that was just changed uh, to actually be worthwhile. So I'll show you guys here again. I have another um, I-Beam coming up. Well, I-Beam, we got a proc there, so then we're going to ca uh, Chaos Strike once, and then I-Beam again, and Chaos Strike again, and then use our Death Sweep, and then the cycle just continues and continues and continues. Um, for this build, in M+, you're probably going to want to grab either uh, Haste or Crit. Both of those are going to be very powerful. Mastery is also a consideration, but realistically, Haste and Crit are going to be your best two. Haste is going to allow you to really condense your rotation, get more I-Beams out, get more uh, Death Sweeps out, and Crit is just going to have you do much more damage. Mastery, again, could work, especially with uh, the buff to Inner Demon. However, you don't necessarily need to take that. There's tons of other options as well. Um, but Mastery, uh, sorry, Haste, Crit are going to be your, your best two options for mileage. Uh, Haste, especially, is going to be very strong in Junkyard. Um, so that's really this build. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, really, this is kind of your bread and butter Demon Hunter that everyone knows and loves. Well, not knows and loves, but everyone knows um, from the past, where it's kind of a little bit simpler, not very complex. You're just kind of pushing your I-Beam, pushing your Blade Dance, uh, and using the rest on Annihilation or Chaos Strike, whichever you're in. You get really long meta uptime with this. <clears throat> when, you're in a, when you're in single target, realistically, you have perma meta uptime. There's just almost no way to lose out on your meta because of how much... Um, 
proc triggering with DGB. Because of the generation we're getting for Fury to extend our um, Inner Demon, not Inner Demon, Center Shattered Destiny. And of course, with the reduction to uh, Cycle of Hatred on I Beam. We get it really low, we get really high meta uptime, and you know, you're just kind of vibing. Damage is really good too. This is, of course, our single target build, right? So you're going to see really high damage. I'm doing like 30k right now. But overall, it's really fun. This is a build to check out if you want something a little more fast paced, you want something a little more, um, you know, comfortable to old Demon Hunter, and you want to just kind of slam some needy I Beams at people. So that, that is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have some more content over the next few days. Apologies for the lack of content the last, the last few days. I was pretty busy with work. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Any questions, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.